Waking up in the morning I can't feel my tummy cause it's roaring So grab yourself some kips on your hips It's kips go all day with you I'm a student at Baruch College uh, I'm currently a junior and I absolutely love food like I absolutely love bringing food to people I like seeing them happy seeing them smile so um, I'm a marketing major I realized I, I, I started off as a finance major uh, took a took a couple classes took a course uh, went joined a club and then I realized finance is not really my thing like I, I don't like finance at all so I decided to switch over to marketing, so I decided to check that out. And I absolutely, I absolutely fell in love with it. I love how marketing people are just so energetic and vibrant and just like overall nice to each other, you know? I decided to get into advertising where I get to focus on things like branding and networking with people. So yeah, I freaking love pizza. Oreos, duh, that is the bomb. Double fudge, chocolate, my favorite. Oh my god, corn dogs are so good. I, I love corn dogs so much. Oh my god. As a college student, you just find anything that you can eat. And if it tastes good, you just like, just eat it. But like, my, my eating habits have gone pretty bad. So my mom started making like healthier foods for me. Like, every night I have to eat broccoli. Um, she's even bought like really weird machines to make food. Like she bought like an air fryer, which basically cooks your food really fast. But it's not like a microwave. Um, got a toaster oven and I got a dehydrator where she makes like dried foods like um, kale chips, uh, beef jerky, salmon jerky, uh, dried mangoes, dried strawberries, you know, all sorts of stuff. And it's pretty good. So I like eating it. This whole thing started last semester. Basically, my mom, she gave me kale chips and I was like, yo, I got to bring this to school. I let my friends try it. They're like, yo, you gotta start a business out of this, this is bomb. So I started a little business and I decided to uh, make, a, make my own brand out of it. So while I started this brand, I was thinking, what should my logo be? Like, what would be a really catchy and creative name to call my kale chips? So I was like, okay, kale chips, huh, kips. And I put it together and that's how Kips Co started. <laughs> So media portrays kale chips as basically like oven fried kale. But for me, I use a dehydrator. Basically you circulate hot air around these uh, oil and spice infused kale until the temperature where it reaches like the optimal crispiness. So yeah, that's kale chips. That's kips. Like after having such a great experience, like eating healthier, being a generally healthier person, I, I want to share that with my friends and through Kipsco, I, I can help them, you know? Um, so, so far, I've already sold it to Baruch. Like, literally, I just go to Baruch and tell my friends, hey, I will be at this specific spot right now at this specific time. Uh, if you want to buy it, to come through. It's a little hard to move around because, first of all, it's frail. Like, if you sit on it, it just, like, completely crumbles. <laughs> so the packaging is uh, kill chips inside a freaking Ziploc bag. If you can just imagine how that looks. Um, and also it kind of looks like weed. So I kind of have to be discreet about it or else I get a lot of looks. It'll be hard to explain to a policeman what I'm doing. That's all I gotta say. Do you know something that I wanted to do? I wanted to like wake up early in the morning to like show how hardworking I am. Cause I wake up in the morning just to buy kill chips. <laughs> well, we can buy kipchits now. 0.7 blocks over yonder. That is where we'll find our sacred land, H Mart. The thing about H Mart is that Korean people really love their kale, which is why I walk one mile northwards just to buy my kale. So yeah, on we go. So the kind of kale that you want has to be like really thick first of all, and then they also have to be like. Um, a little more, more wide, the leaves. Yeah, so like, you know how this is all like spread out? Yeah, so this is really good. But yeah, you just gotta, gotta focus on the thickness. This is my Krabby Patty formula right here, okay? So, basically when you get the kale, you rip it off of its stalks. Do you, you hear this? Um, you put it into like a little salad spinner. 
uh, you just wash it out because sometimes there is like uh, maybe sand in it. You, you don't know where it comes from, right? So you just wash it off. Uh, then you get a little cup and then you put in your ingredients. So like I put in salt, pepper, um, some, some spices, olive oil, you know, you know, things that I can't really talk to you about because these are trade secrets, you know, hush, hush. So you just mix that all in and then you massage these spices into the kale. Once you finished it, you just put it into the dehydrator and four or five hours later, you get kale chips. I taste the product first. I like, gotta make sure it's okay. Gotta make sure like, people like it. Um, and once I think it's good enough, I just put it into a Ziploc bag. Uh, I, fill, I try to fill it up to the brim because, you know, these are college students who are paying $3 for a bag. It's pretty easy. Um, at first, it took me like about two hours to make but now it's like one hour and I'm good. I've been thinking too small right now. Like if I just want to sell it to my friends, I'm probably going to make like what, a couple hundred bucks? Instead, I think I'm going to sell it to the shelves of Whole Foods, you know, like Whole Foods, Walmart, Costco. Um, it's going to take a really long time, probably like about a year or two, but I'm really hopeful, you know, like I have the best support system in the world and I'm excited. Yo, this is really good, yo. I'm gonna...